Good evening, YouTube, and welcome to the channel. Jack Vader here by my side, as always. My main man, Mando. Hey, everybody. Mando, how's everything? Good. So we're on the tail end of a busy week here. Got a lot of things going on. Out today, did some toy hunting. You picked up some things. What'd you pick up? I got Iron Spider and, uh, and uh, what's his name? Venom uh, Spider-Man. So you got a couple of Marvel Legends. Yeah. Okay, those are good pickups. But uh, I also picked up some thing in the mail too. Yeah. And that's what we're here for. Yeah. So what do we got? We got the Darth Vader EFX helmet. So we got a new helmet today in the mail. Uh, actually, we got it a few days ago, but we're going to break it out today. Uh, we got the Darth Vader EFX Episode 4, A New Hope Darth Vader helmet. Yeah. So we're going to add that to this collection before we start fitting, fitting them out. Okay, and keeping the better ones. So uh, I was just going to break this thing out. But I kind of wanted to do a uh, unboxing and uh, review at the same time and comparison, kind of put it all together. So I uh, wanted you to see what you know how it comes out of the box because uh, you just never know, man. You, uh, you it, 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 it may, may, may make or break it if uh, if it gets sent the wrong way and it's not packed the right way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we want to see how this thing's packed. So let's get right into it. All right. So got the. Handy blade. Let's go ahead and slice this open. Let's see what's inside. So, Mando, when was the first time you saw Vader? The first time I saw Vader. Like what episode? Uh, I'm pretty sure it was episode five. Okay, so you weren't really brought up on this one. So a lot of us, this would be the first time we saw Vader, and uh, this is kind of like the one how we always. So that was just a shipping container. So we get that out of the way, and this is how it comes in the box. That's an awesome okay, and, yeah. looking box. Come get, come check this thing out. Let's get a good shot of the uh, of this packaging. Okay, so this is this is right there where he's calling the, the 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 princess a rebel and a traitor, and he tells her to take him away. And he's pointing them out, and he's getting that classic Vader point, David Prowse. And we got the uh, the original the original helmet, and you can see the uh, the the eyes. You can already tell they're they're a lighter color. I'm not sure exactly uh, what the color is. I've heard all kind of rumors, uh, but they kind of look amber uh, through through the lens and with the actor behind them. So that's that's uh, the main difference that always you're always going to see, and it looks weathered. So uh, there it is, and uh, there is the front of the packaging. Let's go ahead and break this bad boy out. I'm looking forward to seeing this thing in action. But yeah, this will be like the first time most of us really recognized uh, or saw the character. Okay, so uh, not intended to use as a toy. Do not wear for protection. Okay, so you don't want to wear this riding the bike doing stunts. Yeah. Okay, this item is for collectible and display purposes only. And do not give this to a child of any age. Mando, you're out of here. Thank now, you. you're, you're a young man. You're good to go. <laughs> you're with me. So uh, that's the main thing. All right. <clears throat> Let's go ahead do it again. Go ahead, man, hold that together so it doesn't fall down. So you listen, we've got a clamshell inside. So let's get the uh, packaging out of the way. And, In my uh, opinion, this is like one of the safety boxes. So there we go, guys. Let's go ahead and we got the uh, the clamshell top. Let's get that out of the way. Pretty cool. Now this thing's packed together pretty good, guys. So this is this thing is gonna ship well. Okay, come on in, let's get a good shot of this thing. All right. Looking good already, guys. So it looks like we got another protective shell on the inside. We're going to take the dome off to get to it. So let's take the back off. I want to knock out these other helmets. Let's set that down for now. And that's the back of the packaging there. All right, so let's see how this top comes off. Well, it looks like we got the old magnet situation. So uh, let's get that off. There it is. All right. Ooh, that thing looks so, and we got more packaging on the inside. So let's get a good shot of that. All right. This thing looks amazing, guys. So uh, already I'm going to tell you, like, if, if you're looking for the highest quality, this is probably not the one you want to go for. This was cast, and I looked it up. This was cast from the original molds from the archives. So as far as accuracy, movie accuracy goes, this is it. But uh, you're going to have to weather this a little bit because uh, Mando, in the movie, the, 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 the original Vader mask, you saw that, how, how, how it looks beat. It's got the, got the weathering all over it, yeah. okay? And you can tell this thing is just painted up real beautiful, so you're going to miss that. Number two, this thing's made of plastic, okay? I'm going to tell you, 
it, it feels awful light compared to my Skunk Works prop. And uh, and I got all the helmets lined up. We're gonna I'm gonna show you that in a moment. The Skunk Work is made out of uh, fiberglass, and uh, it's it's gonna be a lot heavier and and it's gonna feel more durable. But this looks great. Okay, I'm not knocking this at all. And for the price you're gonna pay, this thing looks freaking outstanding. Okay, so uh, we got this in the back. Got some straps. I'm gonna probably put this on Mando here in a little bit to go ahead and check it out. But that's the inside, and it's, it looks like you got plenty of room. So uh, you got a little bit of padding in there, not much on either side of the cheek. And uh, depending on the size of your face, you're probably gonna need a little bit more padding to make that thing uh, spin around. But uh, other than that, it looks really good. Let's set that down. Okay, and uh, there's the dome. Let's get a shot of that dome. Okay. Now you're gonna see the, the the dome looks real lumpy. This thing, it, it, these were handmade, hand uh, uh, hand cast uh, in the original movie. So uh, a lot of this is just that's the way it looked. Okay, so uh, you're gonna see it kind of it kind of looks a little rough and, and and rough and tumble compared to the to the newer ones. It's gonna be a lot smoother. It looks, okay. it looks thicker than all the other ones on the side. Oh yeah, yeah, it's, it's completely it, completely yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm talking about the, the actual finish, you, and you can even feel it. It's not, it's not smooth. It's, it's going to have little dents and bumps. It looks like it's kind of like, have you ever seen the hood of a car after it went through a hailstorm and it's got little, little divots, in, but, but it's very vague. That's how it looks like. And uh, here on the inside, you got the Magnus at the top. So you're going to fix that to the dome. All right, let's go ahead and uh, do that now. And there it is, guys. Okay. Looks awesome. This is the episode four mask. And uh, we're going to set it down and, uh, and, and compare them to, to the rest of them here. But this thing looks really good. Okay. Yeah, that looks absolutely good. I think I might put this on as well, Mando. Okay, so let's go ahead and set that down. All right, let's get a shot of them all together. Okay, starting with the first one on the end. Let's go ahead and zoom it on in. So uh, this is gonna be my original helmet here. This is the uh, 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 Hasbro Black Series, the original version, and, and it doesn't have any correlating episode that it goes to. This just takes all kind of liberties. It says completely black, it's completely symmetrical, uh, does not look like any uh, movie uh, from, from, any, from any medium, okay? Not episode one through six or whatever. Uh, does not look like any comic book. It's just a completely separate entity. So when I first got it, I thought it was great. But looking at it now, it looks very bland. Uh, you're going to see that all these details are all painted black from top to bottom. Got the black eyes and the dome is very round. And uh, the tusks are actually symmetrical on both sides. The original ones were, were, were very, very asymmetrical and it gave it a, a, just a deviant look. It just got like a scary Frankenstein monster kind of look. And it just doesn't look right. Uh, in my opinion, anyway, when it's all symmetrical like this. So uh, this is one of my least favorite helmets now, but it's also one of my most memorable helmets. Isn't that right, Mando? Yeah. We had a lot of fun with that thing. We did a lot of skits, and uh, that was like, originally it was a Halloween costume, and uh, I just upgraded from there. Okay, moving along. This is the second version of the Hasbro helmet. Uh, this is from the Obi-Wan Kenobi show. Isn't that right, Mando? Yeah, So, good. So uh, what we did is uh, got this one just to kind of compare it to the other one and uh they did a lot of good upgrades with this helmet it really looks great okay you got the different colors offsetting cheeks and you got the uh the the uh the, the mouthpiece you're gonna see a different color so they did that because that's how the original helmet was painted and you can see the details from a distance also they added the amber uh uh eye, eye, uh, eye glasses so you can see that that was uh correlating to the show and how it's perceived to be in episode four and again, like you get a lot of complaints, you got a lot of people going to say, well, it wasn't Amber's because they were more opaque and the, the, the actor behind it, made it, it gave it an Amber look on screen. How, however you want to describe it, it just, they kind of look reddish in the uh, episode four. So when they did the Kenobi show, that was a predecessor to episode four, they made sure to uh, add, add those details. But also they added the neck piece, which was uh, missing from the original Black Series. So this is Black Series Darth Vader episode two. Okay, moving on. So this is this is the gem we just got here, guys. So you're gonna you're gonna see how the, the cheek is is, is painted somewhat uh, uh, gunmetal silver, and this is painted black. 
this is painted gunmetal this is painted black and that's what i was talking about and it's got this is going to be gunmetal here this is this is the, the original pattern what they did because on the camera it was just harder to pick up all the details if they had it all black and uh, once you see that, you always thought it was a light reflecting, but it wasn't. It was just how they painted that, and it looks fantastic. Also, you're going to see the eyes here. They got that slight amber look to them, uh, and, and you're going to see that the, uh, in the next version, uh, episode episode five that I have, they're going to be real, real black and dark. And uh, also, the dome is brought down very low here. It looks gives it almost more aggressive look, and uh, the mouthpiece kind of kind of comes out a little bit. The, the husks are very asymmetrical. If you look at them, they're going to be almost going in different directions. Uh, it, it's just the way it was made, and, and uh, it looks fantastic that way. Okay, and moving on to the next one. Now, this one came with my, my, my first, like I said, I started, I started with, the, uh, with the, the cosplay. I started with the, the Ruby Supreme, and a lot of guys actually have done that. So this is the helmet that came with the Ruby Supreme. I never actually wore it. Uh, I, I think I wore it in one video with, just messing around with the kids. But it, it was just easy to put on and off. Uh, I'm not sure this takes any mold from any particular movie. Uh, it's very cheaply made. And uh, it's just one that I kind of just throw on a mannequin and uh, just give it a Vader head just to, just to take its spot. Okay. And moving on to the last one here. This is, this is my gem, guys. This is the one that I wear with, with my cosplay uh, Empire Strikes Back uh, movie accurate suit. And uh, this, is, this is from episode 5. And you're going to see um, all the details following from episode four with the off-colored off uh, cheek, cheekbones and uh, eyepieces. The uh, eyeballs were made completely, the eyeglass were made completely black on this. And uh, the entire dome was brought up. Uh, you're still going to have a very asymmetrical look. You can see the husk are going in different directions if you take a real close look at it. But they added the gloss. And this is why I really, really liked it. So this, this is a part of Vader's career where uh, he had his own Star Destroyer and he was getting things done. So uh, he wasn't really getting his hands dirty anymore. He had a lot of people doing stuff for him. And uh, the times where he would have to go do something, he made short work of them and moved on. So uh, he, he had to look good doing it. And, uh, and, and I really enjoyed that movie. So this is the one I got. This was made by Skunk Works Props. It's going to be the most expensive of the bunch, but you get what you pay for. You pick this thing up. It's very heavy. It's made of fiberglass, and uh, it's made to order. You can't just go buy one. You can buy one, but you're not going to get it for a year. Uh, they're, they're pretty backed up. So uh, Skunk Works props uh, that, uh, if, if you're looking to uh, upgrade. And that's, the, that's, that's where you would go if you want to get the best, in my opinion. Because uh, that's, like I said, you know, this one here is just, uh, I'm completely in love with this. It's nothing, there's no complaints here. This, is, this thing is what you pay for. All right, guys. So uh, let's get a good shot of them all together. Mando, which one's your favorite? I really like these two. Okay. So, tell me why you like uh, those two. What's, what, what in particular do you like about them? I like how Obi-Wan's, I like how the Obi-Wan mask is kind of like a reddish brown in the eyes and it still shows like the gray parts on the eye a little bit. Uh-huh. And I like how this one still has a little bit of the brownish red. And I just like how it looks. Looks really mean and aggressive, don't it? Yeah. And it's also, I want to say, it's going to be the biggest of the bunch. It was a little oversized. But when they put it on the actor, Dave Proud, he's a big guy, 6'6", bodybuilder at the time, he was 300 pound monster. It, uh, it looked really menacing on him, so they just left it alone. They had to put padding in the mask to uh, make it turn. So uh, let's, get, let's go ahead and put it on. So uh, go ahead and take your glasses off, buddy. Let's get a good tight shot of this. All right, making the trip to the dark side. How does that feel? It feels kind of comfortable, just not on the neck right here. Not on the neck right there. Well, it's because you're, you're you're a little guy, so that thing looks pretty good, brother. Let's, can you turn your can you turn your head? Just the head. You got to turn the whole mask. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's all right. It, it looks like I'm looking through sunglasses. Okay, so so it does have a little little opaque look, and I can see you can actually see in there. It looks and there's a reflection, but it looks pretty cool. I like that. So uh, that's it, guys. I'm gonna take that off. It's easy to breathe in, though. And it's and it's real light, you know. So I, I do I do like that part of it. I'm probably gonna go ahead and try to try try this on with with my uh, ESP suit. See how that looks. Take some pictures. Okay. All right. So uh, with that said, uh, I, uh, I I'm, I'm enjoying this. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it two thumbs up, guys. It's uh, EFX. I bought this from Shy Show Collectibles. Uh, I highly recommend it. If uh, if if uh, for the price what you're paying for. 
you know, if you're not really uh, willing to go to Scump Work Props or, you know, any of these guys that are, that, that, that are running these prop shops, you know, they, there's a lot of good ones out there. I just went to Skunk Works and I'm very satisfied with them, so I'm always talking about them. But uh, if you're not really wi willing to spend that much money, I highly recommend the EFX because uh, this is actually made from, like I said, uh, the original molds and uh, looks looks fantastic and uh, and it looks pretty comfortable to wear uh, weight wise. So uh, we're, we're gonna go ahead and give it, give it a thumbs up. Yeah. With that said, guys, may the sun be in your face, wind behind your back, and may the force be with you.